almost a year before the release of the iPhone 16, almost all the characteristics of the smartphone appeared on the network. We already know what processor the 2024 iPhone will get, and even the type of battery. The only question is what the iPhone 16 will look like. Insiders report that there will be no major external changes, and we will most likely get the same gadget as the last three years. However, there is one interesting feature that you can be interested in and imagine the future design of the device. One possible feature of the base iPhone 16 is the ability to record spatial video. Because of this, Apple will have to move one of the lenses, placing it vertically and not diagonally as in current models. Thus, it can be assumed that the basic iPhone 16 will be as similar as possible to the iPhone 12. Now I will tell the known details. Let's talk about iPhones. The profile publication Mac Rumors suggests that there are currently various prototypes of the iPhone 16. As you can see, the new smartphone will be very similar to the iPhone 12 or will be close in spirit to the iPhone 10 and iPhone 10 SEs. Due to the dual lens under the one-piece protective glass, of course, the design of the iPhone 2020 is much fresher than that of the 10s, but against the background of the current diagonal arrangement, both feel a little outdated. According to the publication, this is exactly the type of camera unit Apple is considering in the iPhone 16, including the location of the flash on both smartphones. It is on the same level. Pay attention to the features of the iPhone 16 case. The new faces are made in the style of the iPhone 15 Pro. They are rounded, which makes the smartphone objectively more comfortable to hold in the hand. And the insider confirms that even the basic iPhone 16 will get an action button. This is an action button that is located in the place of the silent mode switch. However, at first they wanted to place a unified button on the smartphone body that would work on the basis of a haptic engine, but the idea was not accepted. They decided to leave it mechanically. At the same time, the camera block in all three layouts, as before, protrudes above the body and does not allow the device to lie flat on the table. You will have to wear a tight case to fix this and protect the iPhone from shocks. However, here's what I noticed on all the prototypes. The action button is of different sizes. Please note that a new capture button for working with the camera has appeared on the right side of the iPhone 16. It is located in the same place where the 5G antenna is now. The front of the iPhone 16 remained unchanged, and even the bezels around the screen did not disappear, although rumors reported otherwise. In place of Face ID under the screen, we are really unlikely to see it in the iPhones of 2024. It turns out that if the back of the iPhone 16 will be similar to the iPhone 12, then the front will be the same basic 15th. In addition, Apple has not yet begun to fool around with the colors of the cases. These are still the pale, indistinct shades that are in the current line. Judging by the rumors, completely different options were also initially considered for the iPhone 15, but they settled on the existing ones. The only good thing is that the documentation provides for changes, so the colors of the iPhone 16 presented in the conceptual images are not yet final. In conclusion, I would like to note that there really will be no significant changes in the design of the iPhone 16. The smartphone will remain roughly the same, except for the changed camera unit, the appearance of the capture button, and the action button in the basic versions of the iPhone 16. Although, when you say it out loud, it sounds like enough changes for a fresh perception of new devices. Keep in mind that these are only early prototypes and are still a long way from release. Therefore, closer to the presentation, we will definitely learn about new nuances and details. It turns out that the entry of Apple Vision Pro is the only reason for such a redesign for the moment. This option is available only in the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max with iOS 17.2 on board, in which, compared to the iPhone 14 Pro, 
the telephoto lens and the wide-angle camera have been swapped, considering that the Apple Vision Pro Mixed Reality headset should go on sale sometime in early 2024, it is quite logical to assume that in the next year, the basic flagships will also support the ability to record special video at a minimum. This is the only logical explanation, and Apple is interested in the iPhone and the VR helmet complementing each other, not working separately. But here's an interesting question. Which iPhone do you think had the best design? Simply put, which iPhone has the most attractive appearance? I suggest leaving your answers traditionally in the comments under this video.